Hello YouTube and welcome to this Sony Vegas Movie Studio tutorial and um, today I'm going to be showing you my Sony Vegas settings for videos that I put on YouTube like this one um, as you can see it's in high definition and it's widescreen so there's no black bars around the outside and for this you can use nearly any version of Sony Vegas or Sony Vegas Movie Studio I have actually on this computer Movie Studio Platinum 9, Vegas Pro 9, and Vegas 7. So I could use any one of them I want, and it, the rule applies. It's not really a rule, it's just the, the same things apply. So you can use it again and again if you save it. And you can just change the options on, and it's just basically the same for Vegas or Vegas 7, 9, Vegas 8, or any version of Movie Studio. So I'm just going to call this. Um, YouTube HQ tutorial finish and it bring up our bars if I close that I'm going to import a picture as you can tell by my desktop I rather like planes so I'm going to bring up this one of this Thompson fly plane and as you can see at the moment it's not widescreen so to make it widescreen we're going to go to project or if it's in Sony Vegas file properties and in video a template I've already made one called widescreen for YouTube so you can type this in the width is basically 640 the height is 360 the frame rate is 30 the field order is to progressive scan and the pixel aspect ratio is to square when you've done that type in widescreen for YouTube and click this little floppy disk here and it'll save it so you can use it again there's a proli and as you can see it's gone widescreen but we've still got black bars on the edges and to get rid of them there's two steps that you can do two options you can you go to event pan slash crop and you can there's two ways to do this you can either right click and select match output aspect and as you can see now in the picture it will it matches the output aspect of 460 by 360 so it's got the aspect or if I make that normal again like that you can under preset from the drop down menu you can select 16 by 9 widescreen TV aspect ratio and it does the same as selecting match aspect so and then when you've done that that's basically what you need for the video but I'm going to show you the rendering settings to get it into HQ. So, make this video look good. Just see what the video looks like. Just like that. It's just a picture of a plane. And then it fades out. So, project or file, render as. And I use Windows Media Video version 11, WMV. And I've already made a template called YouTube HQ. But the first time you do this, select default template and then press custom basically it sets it to the video rendering quality is best select best audio mode CBR format Windows Media Audio 9.2 and it's set to 64 kilobytes per second and 48 kilohertz stereo AV CBR so but since there's no audio in this video and if you haven't got audio in your video uncheck include audio because that makes the rendering time a lot lot faster so I'm going to uncheck that and now into the, in the video tab mode is CBR format is Windows Media Video 9 image size set this to custom so you can select all these options here again width 640 height 360 frame rate 30 pixel aspect ratio to square and the video smoothness to 90 the bitrate I've set to high speed internet and 2.5 meg. You can set it anywhere really between 2 and 3. I prefer 2.5. So when you've done that, click the site, call it something, click save, and you can come back to it next time you use it. So I'm going to call this YouTube HQ tutorial and I'm going to save and it will render. As you can see in the box here, it's rendering.
and it's 100% done and I can even if you want open folder and I can view it in Windows Media Player double click it and it view Hit load just here it seems to have my computer it's not slight to have got new rig so it loaded in a second there it is you watch the screen it's HQ widescreen and ready to upload to YouTube I'm Ryan Ray Freight this has been my video tip for today for more like this subscribe to my channel tutorial Sony Vegas and you'll be notified when I upload any new videos to YouTube. Thanks for watching.